Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel and I'm just doing a bit of decking, roof decking here ready for the GRP guy who's coming tomorrow. And I'm using OSB3, which is the waterproof or water resistant variety of OSB. A lot of people consider this to be an inferior material. I know we all think, okay, it's Weetabix or whatever, but in actual fact, I've found out quite a lot about OSB over the years. I've actually even been to Sterling's factory mill where they manufacture this board. I used to think it was made out of lots of scraps that they couldn't use anywhere else. But in actual fact, they cut it from okay branches that they're not going to use anywhere else like they're not joinery wood or even construction wood but they slice them up into tiny pieces and they lay them in both directions and they use a resin in it and they compress the whole thing so it starts out about that big and then they just compress it compress it compress it with some steam in there and it compresses it down to what you see which is why it's so heavy now there's a lot of people who think oh no i'd rather use plywood than i would osb in actual fact the gr RP flat roof manufacturers say use OSB3, don't use plywood because the problem with plywood is it can delaminate. So you've got all that lovely GRP roofing sitting on one very thin layer of plywood which is separated from the rest of it. You can of course get waterproof WWP plywood, you can get marine plywood which is very expensive and it is good stuff but a lot of the plywood that you see has got a couple of very nice faces on it and inside you'll find there's quite a lot of voids so you have to make sure that the plywood you're using is a good plywood anyway in general and i'm talking about you know pound for pound if you like the value that you get out of osb is that there are no voids in it and unfortunately it is about 50 quid a sheet at the moment if you compare that to a sheet of plywood then you'll find that you'll get better consistency in the osb than you will in a similarly priced sheet of plywood so I just thought I'd clear that up because I know there's a lot of people who go oh that's rubbish I'd never use that of course you've got to stop it getting wet when you've laid it you need to leave an expansion gap I usually use a nail just to make an expansion gap all the way down so when you fix it down leave that little bit of expansion gap so that it can move as the moisture levels change but it's got a fairly water resistant face in it where it shows up excuse me a minute where you do get the damage, and these pieces have been out for several weeks now, these, these offcuts, but where you do get the damage is it puffs up on the edges. And as it's puffed up on the edge, it will never compress back. I mean, it's, it's compressed with hundreds of tons, so you won't ever push that back into place. So if you do get water in the edge of it, you are in trouble, it will, will start to puff up. And in the odd occasion where I've had that, I've run down with a plane or a sander down the edges of it, and just set those edges back down but generally if you just look after it cover it up don't leave it exposed to the weather just protect those edges that's the most important thing is to protect the edges and you will find that is a very very good material it's consistent and it will last for many many years so you know i just thought i'd clear that up for those people that hate osp and love plywood